Hello everyone, hope you are doing super well. Welcome to my channel, Apple Apple Rialto. I know it's been a while. I am actually was really occupied with a uh, um, house kind of remodeling stuff. So um, I apologize for being late on uploading for um, on time schedule, but I'm back and I cannot wait to share with you on. Um, an unboxing I've been waiting for two weeks actually to do it with you on this video from the latest Dior collection ready to wear piece and also in this video I will take you with me to do packing together for my upcoming beach trip which I'm excited for very great of to be able to travel again and uh, yep I just want to show you and share with you what are the outfits I'm gonna take with me for a beach um, trip um, that being said let's do this um, together right away as you can see um, this is just a receipt and this is from the latest uh, Dior Riviera collection which I think is perfect for summer and winter I do like a lot of the print and uh, I picked one which has logo of my favorite place in the whole world i would say um as you can see it's all brand new i i can't wait to open it and i've been waiting to unboxing this together with you um so let's get right into it and uh yeah so it's right away this is the size i got size 34 um, and as you can see, the one I got is Centope. And uh, I do know they have maybe Los Angeles and also um, Santorini. But uh, I just, I, Santorini is where I actually got married. Um, and uh, I mean, I love that place as well. But Centope stole my heart. I just absolutely adore this Southern France town where i just feel if you ever had chance please do visit i love everything about this town and uh, it's just yeah it's just like my favorite place in the whole world but uh this is the uh, uh what's the material i won't call it a sweater i know on the camera it looks like sweater but the material i believe it's um most of it is silk so it's quiet breathing um I mean, it's it's apparently thin, and then because of the silk material, I mean, since you can't touch it, I'm just gonna show you what's the material. Hopefully, it has it. Um, but it's 99% silk, I believe. Yeah, I will um, put it in the link down below. But um, it's very thin. And then I think it's breathable because of the material. I do love the lime green color. I think this is their um, kind of for the season. They had a lot of other pieces in this lime green color. Um, and then, yeah, it has the centope there. And I really like the color where on the back. And I, I kind of tell you on my channel that I kind of just like keep transforming my my taste and then my favorite so no longer I'm a logo person I used to be a monogram person but now I no longer to be and then I feel this is a good balance where um it's only on the back a lot of toit de joie um paint for Dior it's too recognizable for my taste I mean but this is perfect amount of logo I feel this is not noticeable when you're in your front and on the back with this color it's kind of classic navy style nautica um kind of vibe which I think it's perfect for you know just wear it out of um um your bikini or swimming suit but also in winter you can wear it as well which i feel i can get a lot of use from that because a lot of places are very like sunny and then it actually helps when you have a something that you can just throw on as a cover or when climate changes a lot in the evening but yeah this is the piece i want to share with you let me know in the comment down below how do you think about this collection and how do you like about this one and again they do have other color i think navy or 
all our stripes um, pattern. So they have the navy, they have the red, they also have the short sleeve t-shirt polar shirt style um, with different like location pretty much um, print either LA or, or um, Santorini I think those are all Paris of course. Um, and then this one has the logo on the back i believe some might have like different um some might not have a logo if it doesn't have a um kind of color like this but uh yeah this is how um the item looks and i will go into the packing with you together so it's been a mess here because i'm trying to pack all those things but let me show you um this you already saw um, this was the one I just unboxed. I haven't cut the tag off yet, but this is how it looks in a better view, hopefully, um, of a cardigan with, not cardigan, um, a sweater, aka top blouse with a uh, logo, huge collar, oversized collar. This is one of my favorite summer t-shirts now from Hermes. It's just very comfortable to wear and uh, low-key. And I just feel, you know, blue color is great for summer. It's more for the comfy, to be honest. And then here I have this pair. Um, so I absolutely love this off-the-shoulder blouse top. This is from Dolce & Gabbana, same as this short this is like really short and honestly speaking there's not many chances i can wear this one even before the pandemic because it's like really kind of short so um but yeah i think i figured it's been so long and i cannot wear wait to wear this high waist super short shorts um to a beach resort and uh, i do like how this this pair i usually pair it like that um on the camera it's not going to look as nearly as nice as how it actually looks in person but this pair is great and a tip i have is that for leopards paint um pair it with kind of a uh, rich um red bottom either being skirt short it's going to pop it out and i just love this combination so enough talk about this one and then for okay let's change the gear a little bit i also am gonna wear this um for you know like play tennis because they do have tennis court there at the resort this is adidas by stella mccartney um very comfy tennis skirt tennis dress i mean and the cut is really well so the next one is this Bowman um, top vest and uh, the color is great and the thing is for Bowman is always the cut. It looks like a simple, I know, like a t-shirt, like a vest, it's like nothing. However, when you wear it on, it just hugs your body at the places you need it to hug and complements, say, at the chest um, section. This was the best. I got it a few years back. I, I'm not sure if they still have that because um, they do have the classic t-shirt or the vest with, you know, those um, metal button on one side of the shoulder. But I seldom find this one. This I absolutely love and the color is just perfect for all the photos and all those for a trip. So that's that. And then the next one, sorry about that. This is a dress, a long dress from Dolce & Gabbana. Uh, the thing about Dolce & Gabbana is the print. I love the print so much. It is uh, bare with all those wrinkles. It's been like pulled out from last season since we all know how hard it is, has been to finally get on um, travel. But uh, yeah, so this is um, the Dolce & Gabbana kind of signature print, right? All those rose print, um, like, and also the thing for this dress is it's asymmetric where you can see the half is with the rose print and then the other half has a different flower. Let me know if you know what flower is that, but it's like asymmetric and the um, this uh, collar is like the V-neck, the, the neck is the V-neck and you have 
the tie here where I normally just tie it as a little ribbon. But this is absolutely flowy when you wear it on, so flattering because you can see it here is an elastic at the waist. So the dress, although it's loose fit, but it actually hugs you at the waist and look at the print. I mean, again, bear with me on the wrinkle. Um, I need to iron it and I really don't have time today yet. Was really busy with working until last minute and really need to start packing. But yeah, this is um, the best summery dress I feel. And also for those who are not so much fan of like getting too much tanned, I feel this is a great for, um, you know, it covers your skins and won't get you like burnt badly. However, the material it's like silk, so it's super, super breathable and I just love how feminine this is. I mean, now I realize I actually have several pieces from Dolce Gabbana. Um, and yeah, so that's the next one. And then this one I wanna share with you is a t-shirt from Versace with the Medusa um, signature sequin logo kind of um, photo logo item. Like, I mean, like um, not logo you know what i mean it's not monogram it's just a head of medusa which is the icon of this brand i love the red for traveling and uh, i in general i love medusa um i'm obsessed with medusa like the original piece at the uffizi museum in Firenze. i mean florence i just love medusa and how i pair this is normally with this um, this is actually a skirt, not a skirt. Um, it's from a brand I don't really know about, Matthew Adams Dolan. I got it in Italy, um, online. I mean, I got it online and it's made in Italy, shipped from Italy. I love the cutting. Um, this is so nice and complimentary for like t-shirt, shirt, and adds a little bit, you know, like casual safari vibe to this very feminine or like very loud, you know, the logo here. So I absolutely love this skirt. Okay, going on to the next. This is one of my favorite summer dress from Louis Vuitton. Um, I couldn't remember this from 2020 summer collection. But uh, yeah, it's like the logo. The good thing about this one is it does not have the written logo like LV everywhere. I do know this is apparently their signature logo. But you know what I mean? It's not so strong and kind of in front of your face. And then the buttons are so cute. It does come with this belt. I think I have an unboxing video for this. So check it out, please. And by the way, please do subscribe to my channel if you like my content and for motivating me to keep doing uploads for you and give me a thumb up if you like this. Um, but yeah, going back to the packing. So this comes with the belt. Um, I do wear it because it adds, you know, like the waist bit, it adds this dimension where make it more flattering. Um, also, there's this slip on the side, and this is a relatively short dress. I love it because it's so nautical. The color, the classic color of navy and white makes it popping, elegant, simple, perfect for the summer. Okay, so the next dress, um, it is like, because, you know, there's like the dinner um, event and those, so I would prefer to take something with me just a little bit formal, you know what I mean? And uh, this is a strapless um, dress from George Cabria. I pretty much um, butchered the name. I don't remember where I got it, but definitely from online. And I believe it's an Italian brand. Let me know in the comment down below if you know this brand. But I love, love, love it. Reason A being... You know, everyone, every girl needs a little black dress, no doubt about that. But I also like something a little bit of fun, tweak a little bit, and it's not so usual. I'm not saying it's boring, but I like some, you know, quirky stuff. And this fits everything I'm looking for. Also, this is like one of the um, unknown brand, I think. The price was really affordable, I believe. I got it on sale, couldn't remember, but it's like hundred something US dollar. So this material is more like, you know, like scuba material and it's very 
um, structured. So it has its structure. It's a reversed um, heart and the chest bit complements your body shape. And then the bottom, it's a mini dress, by the way, this is suede, um, which makes, you know, the contrast is very interesting because you have the little black dress, strapless, classic one, adds a little bit fun and different, you know, vibe. And then the back is just, you know, with the zip. So that's that. And you, I hope you can see from the video, the cutting at the waist is perfect. So that's that. And then... I'm getting this Ajadior classic t-shirt always with me because although it's black, but with the logo here, um, it's just like really um, interesting on the photo. I mean, the photo, this t-shirt is so good in the photo. Trust me on that. And I got this probably four or five years back in Paris. So the price was really good um, already compared to US. And then also like the dollar was strong at that time. And also there's like the tax return. So it was a great, great deal. Now I think it's almost doubled here in the US. Like they keep having this classic style every season, but I just cannot justify that price for a t-shirt. You can see it's a little bit like worn, but it's a t-shirt and it's a black one. Everyone needs a black t-shirt, just like little black dress. And you know what I pair it with? I always pair it with this princess dress, I would call it. It's not the long one. It's the knee um, length kind of princess dress from, uh, there's also like this suede star, flying star shape pattern on it the part i love it is this elastic waist because it's really tight and then it adds a little bit dramatic you know like um princess vibe and it's from stella mccartney the one from dior it's just way too expensive and also um the inside is kind of transparent where you have to wear like the um like the um dodgy cabana short I'm talking about if you know what I mean. But by the way, you know, like a lot of things I might just mix and match. It's a totally different look and different vibe. If you never tried and you are not afraid of color, I would highly recommend try something red as the bottom. Um, it just adds so much different vibe to your entire outfit. But yeah, so that's the look I usually go with the Dior t-shirt. And uh, with this skirt... Um, it's just very versatile. It goes well with almost everything because the fact that it's black and also, you know, like this kind of um, princess feeling goes well with one shoulder top, strapless top, kind of, you know, um, some a little bit festival top, eventful top. This one was one of my favorite high street summer item I got from Zara a couple seasons back. I just love this dramatic structured flower on one shoulder and it looks expensive. It does not look like $29, I believe, or $39 at that time, US dollars. But yeah, this is another look. And the last one I have is this self-portrait i got this probably geez six years back so here's the thing i feel like um what i like about my closet is a lot of clothes i wear it again and again and it doesn't look outdated after years you know so i feel it's not an investment because you don't get like the same value or more back if you ever want to sell it but what I mean is that these are the dress and clothes I would go back again and again after years. And they do actually bring back, you know, what I paid. I do uh, enjoy them. The cutting is great and it's very festival. So here has the lace and it's like transparent. So you have to wear a strapless bra um, with this suede bow tie here. A bow, not bow tie, a bow here. Sorry, there are some fabric on it but um the suede just adds a lot of texture i love suede but it can't be all over um i love the fact that this material is more like a suit material with the lace with the suede color um um and then the bow it just like feels so princessy 
and it's not so comfortable to wear. I have to say because this part you can't really like lift your shoulder or arm a lot, but this is just a perfect for a dinner that you want to pop out but want to stay low key and elegant. Yeah, so that's pretty much all the clothing. I will show you the bikinis I'm gonna take, just like two or three maybe, and shoes. So here we go. So here are the swimming suits I'm planning to pack. Sorry for the lighting, it's getting late. Um, so it's a little bit shady where the color looks not as um, true as they actually are. Um, this is the first one from, um, I think it's from a brand called um, La Prisha. Yeah, here's a brand just in case you are interested in. And then the the unique bit of this piece is about those floral kind of um, lace material design on both the bra and then on one side of the bottom. So this has a lot of bit um, a bit of feminine feeling, a romantic feeling, and this compromise. I mean, this comp um, complement those who has a smaller chest because of, you know, the flower effect. So that's really something I love a lot, this piece. And then this is from a brand called La, Ang La Agent, I think, La Agent. It was also for an underwear brand. I got this um, in an outlet just for the top piece because purple, I think it's great for a bikini. I always love yellow and purple for a bikini and I'm planning to get like a red one when we can all go back to normal um, but now I think I'm good with the previous collections all these are from a year or two years back when things were still at where they were um, the bottom is actually mix and match I believe this is from Victoria's Secret I actually really like their swimming suit line however they stopped that um, collection which is a shame because I think they did very well on the swimming collection have no idea why they stopped that but uh, it's a shame um, anyways so this is the set I would mix and match normally this is a little bit metallic if you can see metallic kind of light green light turquoise um, but that's the pair I would wear and then this piece is also from Victoria's Secret before they discontinue the line. The bottom has a little bit revealing here, which I really like. And then this is the only um, bikini I have, which is kind of have a lot of padding inside. Um, and I don't think you can take it out. Um, so that's the only downside. Again, for me, I, I love something um, which is more natural looking feeling as opposed to a lot of like, you know, add on padding. But the color's great. It's kind of neo yellow. Um, the color doesn't reflect great on the camera. It's a little bit like lime yellow neo color. And then, yep, yeah, this the fitting is great because um, with those right on the top the wrap on the neck I do like this tie uh, this style you can see this one is like that this one is like that and most bikini are like that because you can then adjust to your size and make it perfect for your body shape and the last piece I got is from one of my favorite um, actually underwear brands La Perla this is I love this brand it's like your second skin um, and then you have like a great kind of royal blue, not sky blue, but kind of sapphire blue, royal blue, whatever you want to call it. It's something I would like to add, always like to add to my bikini collection. Um, it works with my skin tone really well. And then again, this brand is great as underwear, so there's like um, no flaw at all in terms of the fitting, the push-up um, kind of effect. And there's a little bit revealing here. Um, this is actually with the strap, so everything else are kind of strapless. This is the one actually with the strap, um, and I absolutely love this um, piece. It's like those cut out little style in the grid, which is cute. And also, I have this thing. I mean, I'm sure the camera does not do this um, good justice because the way how it's like worn is a little bit tricky. It's kind of like a cover, 
again for perfect for swimming or yeah I can't make it work the way I wanted it to be but basically it's a like a wrapper type of cover um, metallic red a little bit transparent with two ties at the front where you can just like wrap it a little bit on top of a bikini and make it like a blouse so this one actually looks so good in person and uh, it's from uh, maria lucia lohan i believe yeah this is from maria lucia hohan um and then yeah this is a piece i always take with me to the beach where it's just perfect to throw it on um, if you feel the bikini could be too revealing or if it's just you know like for the sun or whatever but it's it's it is great versatile piece yeah let's go with the shoes now so here are the shoes I'm gonna pack um, this is the latest collection from the Valentino where the spikes are um, emphasized in their size, I would say. Ex extra large oversized spikes, those studs, where is the signature for this season and I absolutely love this one. I got so many compliments whenever I wear this um, pair. It's actually quite comfortable, although I would suggest you to go half size up because of the very pointed toe. But uh, what beats this, right? Um, I mean, I just love, absolutely love this bubblegum pink with the metal stud oversized this season um, combination. And then this is one of my favorite pair um, where I always take it with me on vacation. This is the Rene Calviola um, Ca uh, Calvilla. Actually, I'm butchering the name again, but... Uh, um, this is a brand from Venice, Italy, originated from Venice, Italy, and their signature is literally the handmade, um, hand-inserted crystal stone. The quality is so well where it's just so well made, you can tell the difference, and there is no chance for falling stone where those crystal for other shoes are easily to fall off but this one they are inserted strongly and so well handmade i absolutely love this the price tells the quality sometimes and then um the heel is also like a block um short heel a uh, low heel so it's very comfortable for walking on the beach um at the ankle there is this kind of wrapper uh wrap around your ankle also the colorful crystal and it the color is the nude so it goes with any outfit you have this is absolutely my favorite and these are the two um orange sandals i'm gonna wear um this i had an unboxing video so please check it out if you're interested um this is the latest um denim collection where i know it's very popular the edge are lambskin but uh yeah like this is just the color is perfect um this was from before like previous years seasons not years um it's actually from 2020 i got in white and white just goes so well with everything in summer and it kind of makes your proportion looks better for whatever reason one thing i would try to avoid is like a very dark color on my shoes um where it just adds more weight at your bottom and then the white just complements everything but yeah these are pretty much i'm gonna um take and pack with me um, hope you like this type of content. I had fun doing it and I cannot wait for everyone to be able to go back to normal, travel as you wish safely. And uh, yeah, um, without further ado, stay safe, take care, hope to see you very soon and don't forget to subscribe and give me a thumb up. Thank you. Bye.